Hello students, welcome back. In the last session, we have discussed uh, life cycle of thread. In today's session, uh, we will discuss thread priority. While performing our day to day uh, activity, we prioritize our tasks. Prioritizing tasks like one, one task may have uh, higher priority over the other task or activity. So, the activity with the higher priorities are performed first, then the lower priority activities are performed. Same way while executing multiple threads, we may need to prioritize the execution of thread. So, one thread may be, may needs to be executed first, then the other thread. So, that is thread priority. So, let us start with thread priority. Priorities for carrying out activities changes at times as we know priorities to carry out our day to day activities also changes, uh, changes at times. Uh, for example, plan to visit a museum in the afternoon but due to toothache had to go to doctor. So, what is more important that is having the higher priority. Similarly, while programming we may have to run a, a thread of higher importance without stopping or suspending the currently running thread. Thread priorities play an important role in such situation. Now, thread priority uh, each thread is assigned a priority which affects the order in which it is scheduled for running. Now, we can assign some priority to the threads which affects the order in which the scheduler schedules the threads. The threads of the same priority are given equal treatment by the Java scheduler. Threads with the same priority are given equal opportunity or equal treatment and therefore, they share the processor on a first come first serve basis. They share the processor on the basis of first come first serve that is FCFS. Java permits uh, us to set the priority of a thread using a method, the method is set priority method. So, we can change the priority of a thread by using a method set priority. The syntax of set priority it is given here, the name of a thread or the object name of a thread dot set priority and we have to send an integer number. Now, this argument integer argument may take value between 0 to 10. So, we can assign priority in between 0 to 10. So, the int number is an integer value to which the thread's priority is set. The thread class defines several priority constants. Thread class also has certain constants which can be sent uh, as an argument to set priority method. These constants are mean priority constant, mean priority again it is mean underscore of priority remember and the value of this is 1. So, value of mean priority is by default 1. Then the, we have a constant that is norm of priority, norm underscore of priority, the value of norm of priority is 5. We also have max priority and the value of it, it is 10, the maximum priority. So, the value for a priority can range between 1 to 10, remember. So, we can pass either values 1, 2, 3, 4 till 10 or we can even pass these constants that is mean priority, norm priority and max priority. The int number may assume one of these constants or any value between 1 to 10. Note that the default setting is norm priority. If we are not setting any priority for threads, by default it is set to be norm priority. The default priority for all the threads it is 
norm of priority and the value is equals to 5. Highest priority thread always prints any lower priority threads. So, prints in the sense it simply uh, switches the lower priority thread to the runnable state and higher priority thread always executes first. Okay, let us go through one example to understand how priority is set. Okay, we have uh, this program to demonstrate how priorities are set. If you look at this program, it is the same uh, program which we have executed the last time, which is having three threads or three classes, class A, B and C. Each of this class simply prints a value between 1 to 5 when a thread is executed. Now, in the main class, what we are doing is, first we are creating an object of uh, all the three classes, a thread a is equals to new a, object of first class is created and the object name is thread a, second is thread b and third is thread c or you can see we have created a thread here. because all those three classes are extending thread class. So, we are creating a thread. Now, once the thread is created, so we have created a, b and c, we are setting priority here. We have set a priority for thread c, set thread c dot set priority, thread dot max priority. So, we have used thread dot max priority max priority as you know it has a value that is 10. So, you may pass the constant as max priority or you can directly send a value 10 does not matter. Then we are setting a priority for thread b, thread b dot set priority then what we have done is thread a dot get priority. Now, there is one more method called as get priority method as we have a set priority which gives us uh, which sets the priority we have get priority which is used to get the priority of a thread. If we want to know the priority of a particular thread, we can use get priority method. So, here what we are doing is we are getting a priority of thread A. So, thread A dot get priority as you know by default thread priority of thread A is it is 5 that is norm priority which is equals to 5. So, what we are doing is get priority will give us 5 and in that we are adding 1, 5 plus 1 that is 6. So, we are setting the priority of thread B as priority of thread A plus 1, ok. So, that will be 6. Then we are setting again the priority of thread A. Now, thread A dot set priority and we have said thread A dot set priority is equals to mean priority. Mean priority as you know mean priority it is 1 value 1. So, we have created 3 threads a, b and c that is thread a, thread b and thread c and thread c is having uh, the highest priority and then thread b and then thread a. So, like this we can assign priority to the threads. Then we have started each of these threads first we have started with thread a actually thread a is having uh, the lowest priority. Then we have started thread B, then we have started thread C and lastly we have a printed a message end of main thread. As we know even main method runs on a thread. So, when we finish with main method that means that is the end of main thread. So, even though the main thread ends the child threads may continue its execution. Okay, so, let us execute this and verify the output. This program it is saved in drive D, so I will move to D. In D we have a folder called as demo programs where we have saved our program, so I will move to demo programs ok. In demo programs we have our program. So, I will say java c thread the file name is thread test thread test dot java 
okay program is compiled now let us execute it by using java space thread test okay java space thread test now look at the output how it has printed we have started all the three threads a b and c then it has started with the thread b because as it was trying to start thread a because we have started thread a but immediately even thread b starts and thread b prints thread a okay so then we have end of main thread then again the other threads are executed so a then it has started with thread c then thread b then thread a again thread c so this is how we can assign the priorities to thread again we cannot uh, predict the exact output of this program because the priorities and uh, how the priorities are considered and how scheduling is done this is all internal we can only assign the priorities by using set priority but internally how scheduler considers it and executes the thread that totally depends on the java scheduler so every time i execute the program the output may be different from the last time you can see here the last time's output it is totally different from this time's output okay so this is the program to demonstrate how a priority can be set for a thread okay we will stop with this in today's session thank you